Hello fabulous friends and fans. I am your host Nadia Shaw and welcome to this episode of Nadia Shaw Productions. Thank you so much for being here with me to celebrate Canadian astrology living legend Donna Van Toen. Donna is incredible. She has made a huge contribution to the astrological scene around the world with her many, many books and also to the Canadian astrological scene through the State of the Art Conference, otherwise known as the Soda Astrology Conference. Now, because of Donna, I can honestly say that she is widely recognized as one of the people who defines the Canadian astrological community. It would not be what it is were it not for her and the generous spirit with which she helps fellow astrologers, myself definitely included in that. Donna is amazing. Donna is incredible. Donna has made an everlasting contribution to the Canadian astrological scene and it is my absolute honor and joy and privilege to celebrate with you today Donna Van Toen. Welcome Donna. Well, thank you Nadia. It took a few takes to get that because actually it, I feel a little nervous with you here, I must be honest. Oh well, we can have a mutual nervousness society because you know this is my virgin voyage into YouTube land. Really? Oh yeah, I'm terrified of cameras and um, I, I just have never done it before. Well, I'm honored to be your first. You have opened up so much opportunity for me and so many other people, and so I hope that this in some way helps you reach a lot more people, deservedly reach more people. But also, I hope that you have a lot of fun. <laughs> and then you want to do it again and again. I always try to have fun. Yes, that is true. Uh, you certainly know how to have a good time. On a good day. On a good day, I have a wonderful time. On a bad day, um, I wait for a good day. So why do you think you chose astrology as your career? Is it that part of you that enjoys life? I didn't choose astrology. It chose me. Mm. Um, I worked very hard for a number of years to do anything but astrology. I started at 16. I dabbled for many years. Uh, I kept trying to get rid of the books. The books kept following me. Uh, and here I am. Um, but really, I had set out to be a school teacher while I was waiting to write the great American novel. And the astrology was something that I picked up at 16. Um, because my girlfriend got into it and she thought it would help our rotten love life. And um, I'm still here and she's doing something else now. Did it help her love life? I don't think so. Um, love is blind and it's quite, quite amazing what you can do with two charts when you see that the synastry really isn't very good. You can, you can say, ah, yes, but this is spiritual. Ah, yes, but this is karmic. Ah, yes, but I can transcend this. And you know what? It can be spiritual, karmic, and transcendent. But sometimes the other party isn't as motivated as you, and then it gets sticky. So did it, did it help our love lives? Um, I would say not necessarily, but, but it did teach me when to just not bother and go, not going out and staying home. That raises an interesting question about um, sort of predetermination and free will in astrology. How do you understand that? You know, that's, that's a really thorny question. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of, there's a Liz Green quote that I always garble, but it, it's like, we all have a fate, but we can change our destiny. I believe there are some things that are preordained. 
Um, I believe there, there are things that happen that are going to happen probably no matter what. I mean, death is a good case in point. We will die. Um, I don't know anyone who's lived past 120 or thereabouts. Um, I think there are certain things that will happen to us over the course of our life. But I think we can modify those. Um, I believe in karma, but I also believe in dharma, in paying forward. And I think astrology is a very good tool for minimizing some of the really ooky things that can happen to you. And making the most of the opportunities to transcend and transform and grow and change. And all that. What do you like best about being an astrologer? Everything. Almost everything. Um, I have gotten to travel all over the world, or many parts of the world. I've not made it to Europe yet, um, other than Turkey. But I've gotten to travel many, many places. I've gotten to meet wonderful people, absolutely your case in point, wonderful people. The feeling is completely mutual, absolutely. I've learned a great deal about other cultures, other religions, um, other belief systems, and on top of that, I can set my own hours. And very often, because conferences are a part of the profession, there will be periods when we can play when we're working, you know.